Welcome back everybody to the Matrix Unveiled. My name is Thanuj and today I'm going to be filming another episode, another edition of the video series that I'm doing basically to talk about reality, to talk about consciousness, to talk about spirit, uh, the universe, metaphysics, um, all kinds of different things, all kinds of different concepts and topics. Um, one thing that I want to start doing is is filming these more like episodes. So filming them more um, in the fact that I'm actually focusing on just really creating them for uh, long in-depth episodes. So like once or one or two times a week, maybe two to three videos per week. And these two to three videos are going to be longer. They're going to be more explanatory and more interesting and have a lot more information. Um, higher quality, so I'm going to be filming it on this brand new camera that I got, which is the Canon M, uh, Canon ASOS M50. And so that's a pretty dope camera. It's a very high quality, as you can tell. And um, basically what I want to do with this channel is I want to create an archive, a collection of very high consciousness videos that a person can watch and learn from and um, you know not make the same mistakes that we have made in the past so that way we can grow and evolve and become higher consciousness beings in this reality in this matrix reality so in this video we're going to be really discussing what is reality what is the substance of everything within this existence what is this matrix what is this consciousness <laughs> what is this um, this very existence that we are we find ourselves in? What truly is it? Okay, so let's take a look here and just observe with me as we're talking. You know, look at your hands. Look at the room that you're in. Look at the the camera or the you know the screen that you are observing, which is your cell phone or your computer. Okay, observe every single detail on this object and notice the sensations of your body when you are interacting with this object so for me I'm holding this camera right now I can feel it in my hand and uh, that's my phone I can feel the energy that is going back and forth between my hands and the camera uh, and I can also feel the physical sensation which is the pressure the warmth, the temperature, um, the energy, the the way that my muscles are condensed, okay? All of these things, what we're doing right now is we're building awareness, okay? We're building sensation and perception and the ability to actually sense with our energy the different neurons and the different uh, perceptions that we have within physical reality. So the sensation of touching something, um, the pressure, the blood, the feeling, all of this is sensory acuity, all of this is consciousness, okay? This is important to understand when we talk about uh, reality because we must understand that we are actually perceiving or becoming conscious, becoming aware of reality. We are becoming aware that it exists, that it is something external to us. Now. Is it truly external to us? Is reality truly external to us? It's very interesting because when you observe, you must ask yourself, where are you as the observer? Are you inside of your head? Or are you all around everywhere, perceiving everything as a part of you? See, one of the really, really powerful things about when I make these videos is that I remind myself with the own knowledge that I have about reality, about what is really going on here. So for, for myself, it's almost a way, to, uh, a way to remind myself of the consciousness that I'm experiencing or that is beyond just my physical body. And so, me making these videos, it's almost like a, a channeling of that energy, and I put myself in that frequency. And then, if you listen to this and you, you follow along, you will also start to put yourself into that energy, into that energy field. 
So are you beyond just your mind? Are you beyond just this body? Can you expand your sense of consciousness to everything around you? Can you feel what it feels like to actually be everything? Not to be limited. It's a very energetically intense feeling and sensation and you will feel a lot of emotions you will feel the unconditional love the unconditional love of the God mind of the universal mind the mind that is actually our mind see we have two minds we have the the ego mind which is the the worries and the insecurities and all of this noise that is being perpetuated in the brain that is the ego mind which is connected to the reptilian part of our brain fight or flight as well as just the idea of you being aware of something and, and thinking about it and and perpetuating that thought process in your mind the the thought loops that you create the insecurities the the fears the doubts anything that's within your mind okay all of that noise it's like a hamster running on a wheel. It's like a hamster running on a wheel over and over and over again. Okay? So, the second mind is the universal mind. It is the mind that connects us all together. It is the mind that is all of us simultaneously. So, if you let go of your own mind, and you trust and you connect to the real universal super conscious mind which is you know it's deeper than your subconscious okay so you have your own ego and then you have your subconscious mind which is the 90 percent um which is lower than the other 10 percent in in your awareness so you're not really aware of it this is what's controlling your body um your organs your you know temperature of your body, all of those different things that you're not really conscious of, but you can become conscious of, that's 90% subconscious. And then be below the subconscious mind, even deeper, is the very super consciousness. Super consciousness meaning conscious of everything, literally consciousness itself, existing and self-existing. Okay? These are superhuman. These are quantum quantum levels, these are beyond space and time, this is beyond human, uh, human consciousness, this is beyond what humans have thought that they're capable of, but the truth is that our consciousness is unlimited. Our consciousness is unlimited. So can you for a second imagine if you were everything, if you were conscious of everything? See, one thing that we forget as human beings is that we are not a human being. We are the consciousness of the universe experiencing itself as a human being. The entire thing. We're not a part of it. We're not a piece of it. We are the entire thing. Even the soul is imaginary. Even the soul is a is a, you know, a dilution, it is a, per, a part of personality, but it is really one soul, one universal soul. Just the thought of that is very freeing. It makes you want to feel like you can connect back in any time and transcend and let go of your silly little, little ego that you hold on to which causes you most of the suffering and pain and unhappiness and discontentment that you experience because it, because it is the ego that has desires and that is looking for instant gratification and happiness within the external world 
but true happiness is found within, within the connection to oneself and to the superconscious mind, to the universal consciousness. Um, so meditate on that. You know, really contemplate the idea of the superconscious mind or the universal conscious mind and connect to it. Imagine, go back and replay this video again, the parts where I was talking about it and feeling it and really experiencing it. Go back to that part of the video and re-experience it and, and do that as a meditation. and Practice that meditation. It is very powerful. It will help you. It will show you exactly how to experience that very high vibration. So reality, reality is an illusion. Reality is a dream. Reality is a hologram. Okay, it is actually, it is a dream. Okay, so some people ask me like, is it if it's a simulation? What does that mean? Does that mean that it's like a, it's in a computer system or it's in a computer or it's in some sort of like uh, technological de uh, device like the computer behind me? Like, is it something like that? Or is it more like um, something that is imagined by the God mind, by the universal mind, and a computer is simply a representation of how the energy is being stored in a, uh, in a certain location. So when we talk about mathematics and how it's a hologram, we're actually experiencing the way that the universal mind had encoded this reality. And it's funny because as I talk about this, reality starts to become more and more holographic for me where I can start to see more and more of the mathematics that make up this reality. So this reality is made up of mathematics. It is made up of, uh, you know, code, binary code, uh, more like interdimensional alien code, to be honest. It's not really like binary is the way that you plug it in into the system, but the code itself is very complex and there's many, many layers. There's actually infinite layers or extreme amounts of layers. Um, and it's not like I can see all of it. There's no way that a human being will be able to see all of it um, because it would break their brain. Uh, you can see a good amount and you can learn to see more as you progress. And that's something that is, is trained and that is, uh, t you know, I teach that actually. So if you're interested in that, you know, go onto the website and check out the courses and the um, the coaching, which is where I teach people one-on-one, -on -one. but that's not something that you start off learning. That's something that comes very, very far out in the future after you have a basic understanding of energy. So the code is highly complex and it's highly mathematical and it's beyond the understanding of just, you know, um, trying to mess with it for the sake of messing with it. It's a very conscious code, it's very intelligent. But the mathematics, right, the energy and the, the, the binary that runs through of the computer system, it's only designed as a computer system because that was the way that God or the universal mind decided to, to create it that way, okay? So it, it took the form of computers as a means to express itself. It doesn't have to use computers, but computers as a, uh, as a, as a manner or computer code or mathemat mathematical code is a language. It is the language of the universal consciousness, okay? So it is the way that it expresses and gives certain meaning, certain energies to certain symbols. So one has an energy, zero has an energy, you know, four, three, all these different numbers. They have energies, they're symbols, they are alive. Okay, we often forget that numbers are actually alive and that they're actually hyper conscious beings. So, um, all of this is a mathematically encoded environment. Okay, it's, it's a mathematically coded environment, but what is true, so reality being a dream, what does this mean for you? What does this mean? It means, that reality is the mind of God, and you are God. Not the God from the Christian religion, 
not the God from the Hebrew religion or from the uh, Muslim religion, any other religion that you could possibly imagine, but the God in the universal consciousness, which is everything. So you've been playing a trick on yourself. You've been disguising yourself as a human being when you're actually a universal being. You are the universe. Become conscious of that. Experience that. Meditate on that. Reflect on that concept. Imagine it. Imagine your sense of perception expanding. And you'll be surprised you can actually experience some of these states of consciousness just by willing yourself. Because you are it. You've never been anything else. You are actually remembered. You're actually reminding yourself that you are not it all of the time subconsciously. You're tricking yourself and deceiving yourself. This is what the ego is. So becoming aware of this, you realize that everything is you and you are everything. Therefore, I must treat everyone and everything how I want to be treated. And I will also not stand to be treated in a lower consciousness way or a way which disrespects um, myself. One of the things that I've explained many times uh, on my channel is to be, you know, treating yourself in a very high vibrational um, way and to not be tolerating negative situations, to not be tolerating people to take advantage of you or to abuse you or to, um, you know, not really respect your, your time, your love, your energy. So I talk about a variety of different levels of consciousness on this channel because I want to give information that best reaches everybody at their level of consciousness. And really doing that is all about recognizing is this person giving me enough love or am I giving this person enough love? And so when you recognize that, when you recognize that you are the unified consciousness, that one consciousness, you're not going to tolerate any kind of lower level of, of energy or love. Because you attract what you are within yourself. You attract who you are, the universe, which is you, naturally manifests exactly what you ask for or what you are as yourself. So the best thing to do is to realize that if you want to change the kind of people in your life that you can manifest based on a new level of consciousness, based on a higher level of consciousness, which would be to work on yourself and to let go of any sort of lower level um, acts of self-love that you commit or do or participate in or tolerate or exist with. Focus on becoming the most self-loving being you could possibly become because when you are self-loving, you love everyone else just as much because you realize all is self. All is one. The universal mind is highly conscious. That is how I'm able to do aerokinesis and psychokinesis and, and moving energy and, and all of that stuff. Because everything is consciousness and I can plug into the consciousness and so can you if you just take the time to learn how to apply yourself and to work hard. Everyone has this gift. Everyone has the ability to become universal consciousness at will and to experience life in a much more magical, mystical manner. You don't have to exist as just your human body. And it is very freeing and liberating when you've released attachments to the material world and you're able to just be everything. So, um, focus on, you know, how much, you know, another aspect is, is the love component, okay? The more love you have within yourself, the more you're able to really pulse love out of your heart chakra, which is your thymus, the more you'll be able to expand that energy beyond to other people the better that your life will become because you will start to exude 
that natural sense of unity consciousness. And when you act in a unified manner to the rest of the universe, things have a habit of really working themselves out. So see everything as one. See yourself as one with creation. And, and life becomes a lot more magical, a lot more in tune. And you start to just ride the universal waves of bliss and, and frequency instead of trying to make things happen or force things or control things or manipulate things it's really all about letting go and surrendering to the waves sorry that was my chair <laughs> surrendering to the waves of infinite consciousness that exist so I hope you guys enjoyed this this new video um, I know it was a little bit more intense and more informative on uh, you know it was deep we went deep down the rabbit hole and I'm excited to bring more content that is going to be going even deeper and talking more about the nuances and the different aspects of reality. And I'm going to get, start getting way more metaphysical, talking about interdimensional um, experiences and, you know, navigating the astrals and talking about interdimensional beings and all of that different stuff. There's so many topics I can talk about. So what I want you guys to do is to leave me comments on what you want me to talk about, on what kind of subjects that you're interested in. Because there are literally millions of topics to talk about and there's a lot of information that I wanna share. It also requires me doing a lot of research and a lot of inner search. So if you're wondering where I get all this information from, I have to first experience it and learn about it and then research it. And you know, most of the time the research is not you know on the computer it's researching in the field of consciousness. So experiencing something requires a lot of meditation, it requires a lot of time, it requires a lot of energy, um, and it requires a lot of effort on my part, but it is something that is you know, my, my deepest passion and what I'm here to do on this planet for, to basically bring new levels of consciousness, new levels of awareness, of spirit to this world and to raise a level of consciousness dramatically from a much lower uh, level of consciousness which humans have been struggling with and basically you know all suffering comes from a, a level of consciousness or your level of consciousness so the lower your level of consciousness the more you're going to suffer the more you're going to be unhappy and even if you just raise your level of consciousness just a little bit you start to alleviate the suffering. You start to become a better person and you start to not have as much pain and negative emotions and resistance to the tide, okay? It's all about realizing that when you feel pain, when you feel unhappiness, and discontentment, it's because you're going against the tide in some sort of aspect, in some sort of way. You're not flowing harmoniously with the universe. And so therefore you're experiencing a negative emotion or a negative attachment or a negative feeling or a negative situation. Um, so so um, there's a lot of different topics to talk about and different um, topics will be discussed in the future. We're going to be talking about dreams. We're going to be talking about um, navigating the astrals. I also want to get a little bit away from metaphysics at the same time. So I want to bring more content that is also super uh, practical. So, you know, entrepreneurship skills, business skills. Um, yeah, even I want to start talking about politics a little bit and I have to do more research and information. But I'm going to, talk about, I'm going to be talking about health and nutrition and fitness and getting in shape and how to eat right, how to eat right for energy, how to really raise your frequency, how to um, raise your level of consciousness with the foods that you eat, um, with the practices that you do, with the different techniques. And I'll be sharing a lot more techniques in the future of, of some of the skills that you can learn in order to raise your consciousness because this is the most important thing for humanity to do during this time is to raise their frequency, raise their level of consciousness and experience reality in a much 
more aligned manner, much more universally in sync or harmonized. And um, it's going to be a lot of information. So what I'm planning is on doing uh, videos like two times per week, maybe even once per week, depending on how long the video is going to be. So this particular video is like 30 minutes long and it's a pretty inform informative video. So there's going to be a lot of information for you to digest. So uh, I'm going to be considering making the videos sh uh, longer, but less frequent and that way I can really put in a lot of good information and high quality uh, content for the video. So let me know what you guys think about that as well and um, that will help me determine what kind of formats that I should be doing but I will probably also make shorter videos throughout the week um, depending on what I'm feeling and what's what's resonating but really what I do is I let spirit take control of that. I let spirit tell me when to make a video and when not to make a video and um, it's totally really when the schedule comes, when it's downloaded into my consciousness, then I make a video. <laughs> that is basically the way it works. And the flow state is very powerful. Uh, once you get good at the flow state, you can basically talk and make, you know, create content for hours and you don't really get tired because you are effortlessly flowing through reality and you are surfing on the right frequencies so the amount of energy expenditure is very very small um, so last thing I want to talk about is the new course that I just released which I think was an amazing course it's called the spiritual awakening mastery course and I created it for the person that's going through their spiritual awakening okay their spiritual awakening that is difficult, that is confusing, that they're navigating and suffering through a lot of energetic issues, you know, chaos, uh, feeling drained, feeling tired, feeling like there's so much negative energy, not knowing how to protect their energy, all of those things. I've been through that. It's not a good uh, experience to have those kinds of negative um, situations, and it really does suck, so I feel you. But that is why I created this course. It will teach you how to protect your energy, how to replenish your energy, how to heal and move through some emotions that are negative, uh, negative experiences, and how to start doing your inner work and progressing more on your spiritual journey in a more harmonious manner. So if you're interested in that course, you can check it out on thematrixunveiled.com. Um, it's also going to be in the description and it'll be the pinned comment and you can really dive deep into that course because it is a very good course. It's about, I think it's about four or five hours long of videos and it's a lot of informative content. So it will help you uh, dramatically to become better at um, navigating through some of the pitfalls of spiritual awakening. Um, as well as the other courses are on the website as well. And the courses are basically, you know, very, very informative videos that have a lot of techniques and a lot of application and a lot of strategies and uh, they can teach you a lot of the skills about energy. They can teach you a lot of the skills about raising your consciousness, about how to activate your pineal gland, how to raise your frequency, how to become more in alignment with your energy signature and with the universal energy signatures and how to basically live a higher consciousness lifestyle. So I've created a lot of different techniques. Um, you know, the DMT pineal gland course is very powerful. And uh, there's, there's a, a few other courses that I've created as well, um, which you can check out and learn from and really learn to master your energy. Um, so those are the courses that I've created and I'm planning on creating more as uh, spirit gives me more information as I record more videos, it does take a lot of time and energy to make these videos. Um, so the last service that I do offer is the one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is something that I'm very, very passionate about. Um, I'm a very, very passionate coach and I'm a, I'm a spiritual life coach. And it's something that I do with all of my joy and love and gratitude. And this is where I basically help a person go through their life, uh, we overcome obstacles together, we figure out what's not going right, what kind of information we're lacking um, to make a successful life change, and how to navigate our spiritual process, how to evolve our consciousness, how to become a greater version of ourselves and become more aligned. So 
coaching is is a deep passion of mine and it's something that I've really started to love and I really do love all of my clients every single one that I work with um, is just a beautiful soul and it's an honor to help someone really become a better version of themselves so I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching on my website um, you have to fill out an application form in order to be considered as a prospect and uh, then we have an initial conversation for usually an hour to two hours and we talk about the possibilities of coaching and uh, how that would look at like what would that would look like and how that would work and um, we really just dive deep with your life and who you are as a person and what you're trying to accomplish so that is the last thing that I wanted to really mention in this video um, if you guys uh, are interested in you know different topics let me know in the video below uh, let me know in the comment sections below and um, also, if you want to support this channel, if you want to support The Matrix Unveiled to help me pay for camera equipment, to help me pay for the website, to help me pay for higher quality uh, content um, and, you know, different kinds of avenues for that, you can do so on patreon.com slash The Matrix Unveiled. Also on PayPal, um, there's also a donation uh, thing on uh, my website. So, you know, donations are appreciated but they're not required and the patreon support is just really really helpful for you know paying for some of the expenses of the of the channel and of the content but it is definitely not required either so um yeah guys i i really really am proud to bring this video to you guys i think it's a very in-depth conversation and it can really help you start to raise your level of consciousness experience new states of awareness and um, really watch this video a couple of times and, and take in all the information and all the, the, uh, the uh, explanation of, of, of unity consciousness and experience it for yourself. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Much love.